Hello, uh, my name is Tom and I was reading about the recently discovered vulnerability in the Linux command line tool SCP uh, which you can find more information about at this URL which has which is some research done by uh, Harry Sintom from the F-Secure Corporation. It's got some CV numbers assigned to it and it says here proof of concept and malicious SCP server will be released at a later date so I thought I would put my own proof of concept together um, so here we have a victim machine and here we have an attacker machine um, I have written my own um, malicious version of the SCP binary which in Golang which I'm now going to install as this system's version of SCP and then on the client side I'm going to SCP some files from the victim from the attacker machine to the victim so in this case I'm going to use SCP to connect to the attacker and download a file called testfile.txt uh, it should be noted that it, you don't have to directly connect to a attacker as long as the SCP binary has been compromised some way on the machine that you're going to connect to this attack works so it could be a trusted server that an a, a attacker has got onto and changed the binary or it could be through ma man the middle intercept with ssh um, as an example so i'm going to run this command i'm going to type in my password and test file.txt is going to be transferred so i'm going to cat test file.txt and it says hello um, but what Tom doesn't know is in doing that he has successfully downloaded and installed a backdoor into his system. So I'm going to open the MSF, uh, MSF console with Meterpreter um, Listener, which I'm going to start now. It doesn't have to be a Meterpreter, I'm just using that for this demonstration. So I'm going to wait for that to start up. Uh, so that's online and ready. And then say Tom has uh, left and comes back to his computer and then he reconnects to this server um, so any kind of login event so in this case I'm just going to issue back to Tom and type in his password uh, he is logged in successfully but we can see that the interpreter um, backdoor is now running on his system so if we look at the current active sessions we can see it's running as UID basically as Tom we can connect to it and we do a sysinfo, open up a shell, and it works. Um, so then we can close this down, yes, and then we'll come out of it. Um, and from Tom's perspective, if he does an ls minus l, the only thing in his home directory is the test file. If he was to do an ls minus ltra and look at everything, then he would be able to see that he did actually download a backdoor and his bash rc in this case has been compromised to execute the backdoor on login. Um, but a properly written um, malicious application would clear up all of these errors as it was executing and load into memory and all the other jazz. Um, so how does this work? Well, we just can have a look at the code for the bad SCP program. So when the client connects to the server, the client trusts that the server is going to send the file that it requested. So in this case, you originally requested for testfile.txt, which it sends with the contents hello, um, but then the server can continue and send more files. So in this case, it's going to send a malicious bash RC with the backdoor thing, and then it's going to send the backdoor and it's going to set execute permissions on it and then it's going to open a backdoor which I've written into temp and then it's going to send that um, and then in order to hide all of this um, there's some Linux um, shell escape codes here which are basically telling the TTY to clear the line it is currently on so even though when SCP is running it prints out the status for the backdoor and for the new bash RC file these commands basically get the terminal to hide it um, when you run the SCP command 
can probably see it flashes very slightly as those commands are run but during normal operation you wouldn't notice this um, if these weren't there then you would see the full progress of the other files being installed um, but yeah that's just a basic proof of concept of it working uh, thank you very much